Hey guys, how's it going? Alright, so what we're going to be talking about in this video is field reports. I get a lot of people asking about this. How to use field reports to get you the most amount of progress in the shortest period of time. Alright, with that being said, let's get into the video. Yeah. One clip on me at all times. One of us got beef, then we all right. Six up. For a lot of you guys who don't know, when I was younger, I used to be a writer. Uh, this is actually probably one of the biggest reasons why I ended up getting good in the end, because I just write so many goddamn notes. It's something that I'm just have always been doing. So I used it as kind of like a way to get even better. It's a reason that I kind of just kept progressing. So when I first started gaming, uh, even when I didn't know what I was doing, like I'd use articles and writing articles, kind of break down thoughts and break down ideas. So it can kind of get a better understanding of, of social interactions, what I was doing wrong. And what was reality and what wasn't. Just so you guys get an idea of this. So I have a lot of fucking notebooks. Like I have like this one right here is for throwaway notes. Like it's just stuff for students, things like that. This is my planner. Uh, I'll write down everything I need to do in that. Uh, this is like for a hardcore notes stuff that I need to have. Like things that are like essential for thoughts and like thinking out basically like, life planning, things like that. Uh, this one right here, field reports. I got like a metric, I don't know. And if you ever go back to California, my old place in California, you'd find like a dozen of these sitting around, just field reports, canned lines, stuff like that. And then I have uh, fucking video notes, stuff like, so you guys probably see the format of this video right here. This is how I planned out the video. Uh, first, I got all the content together, decided I was going to, you know, section it off, make sure that I had all my thoughts and how I did it properly, broke it down. And now I'm making this into a video. Doing field reports is going to be a massive, massive portion of your progress. Now, like I said, Julian told me it was 51%. I honestly think it's even more. Like if you don't do field reports, I honestly, I think that you're shooting yourself in the foot and you don't have a chance. How do you know how to get better if you don't know what you're doing wrong? How do you know how to get better when you do something right and you didn't know you did it right? All this stuff, you have to start trying to figure out logically. You have to start kind of getting a sixth sense feel and you can't do that by just stupidly hammering away at game. It's not gonna help. You need to really just critically think this stuff through or it's not gonna work. Now, first and foremost, this is gonna be building a habit. I don't care if you do all these things all at the same time. Like, to be honest, if you do, it'll probably make it harder for you to like write field reports and get used to doing it. Building habits is is not like, you don't cram together a whole bunch of habits. So if I were to tell you to quit smoking, you don't quit smoking while you're trying to, I don't know, quit a heroin addict or... Building habits is a willpower depleting task. It takes a lot of willpower to build a habit and it takes a lot of kind of baby stepping yourself to do it, to try to build the ego, to build the character around the habit you're trying to get. So whenever you're building a habit, you too want to also kind of get the character and try to become the person that has that habit. So for example, so me, I like working out. It helps me kind of express my emotions, get it out of me. Because when you're gaming, you can't be negative, can't be angry. So where can I be angry at in the gym? So when I work out, I'm fucking getting that shit out of me. Um, nowadays, I think of myself as a healthy person because I work out, I eat healthy, now, a lot of you guys probably don't see yourselves as that, so for you guys, you're like, oh no, I'm just not the kind of guy who goes to the gym. Oh no, I'm not the kind of guy who uh, eats healthy. So you guys like constantly, like, like that's how I used to think when I was like, before I was working out. With you guys, you gotta start building the habit little by little, baby stepping yourself. So for example, when I was uh, starting to work out, I didn't see results for like six months to a year. It was pretty tough for me to kind of like, you know, keep pushing myself to keep working out. What I do is I baby step it. So you guys, probably, when you guys wanna go to the gym, you're probably looking at the entire workout you need to do. You're probably thinking about, the drive over, you're probably thinking about when you get to the gym, you gotta go past the desk, you gotta do first arms, you gotta do like, then you gotta do back, then you gotta do all these extensive workouts. You're like, man, that's a lot of work. Now I'm not gonna do it. You're thinking about all this shit you need to do and it's stopping you from even like doing it at all. So for some of you guys, I know this for me, I'd have to do this uh, if I was going back to building this habit, but you have to baby step the habit first. So for example, um, when I was working out, uh, I tricked myself. So first I'd be like, okay, well, I don't really feel like working out but I want to listen to music. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in the car and listen to my favorite music. Oh, I'm listening to my favorite music. I'm already in the car. I might as well drive around. Oh, there's the gym. I might as well park. Oh, I'm already here. I might as well just walk inside. I'm working out. I'm lifting weights and shit like that. Maybe not like a lot. Maybe the first day, maybe just like do two different exercises and then just go home, come back, do three, come back the next day, do four. And eventually I'm doing a full workout. Now that's the same thing with you guys. When you're doing field reports, you need to baby step yourself into do this. So when I give you all these different points that I go through, just know that this is from years of me doing this and like maybe building like a habit and like momentum behind doing field reports. Obviously, what are you doing wrong? What are you doing right? This is the easiest like first step to take. So if you guys are starting to do this for the first time, you've never written field reports before, start off with this and then slowly start adding things as you build the habit. As you start becoming the guy who builds field reports and writes field reports and is intellectual about this stuff, start adding onto it. 
So first things first, just start doing little things. Start doing it, making it as easy for yourself as humanly possible to do a field report. Three things you did wrong, three things you did right. Now I have a little tiny little notebook, which I couldn't, well actually here. Now, when I, whenever I like do anything, I make it extremely simple. Now, what's a simple way to do field reports? You probably have to like go home, pull out your notebook after you're tired after going out all night. You know what I used to do? I just get like a tiny little notebook like this, write down three things they did wrong, three things they did right. And every set, every time like I was like, oh, I learned something, pull it out of my back pocket, write it down, put it back in my back pocket, you know, stuff like that. This is a really quick way to really easily just start writing field reports. So write down three things you did wrong, three things you did right. Little notebooks like this are fucking awesome. Now, the next thing you're going to focus on one problem at a time. Now, a lot of you guys are focusing on a hundred things, like three things. You're like, oh no, Julian says to do this. Tyler says to do that. Uh, all these different people are saying Denton says to do this. Focus on one thing at a time. And the one thing you need to focus on is the one thing that's going to get you the most progress with the least amount of effort. So firstly, focus on those. Obviously, everybody has their own like problems. Maybe you talk with like a nasally like kind of voice. In that case, fix that. And maybe you have some kind of thing where you think the girl's going to reject you. Start visualizing, fixing it. Like just knock it the fuck out. When you focus on too many things at once, it makes it hard to get into a flow state and be like normal within a conversation. Not to mention when you're focusing on multiple habits that you're trying to build at the same time, like I said previous, it takes a lot of effort to build a lot of habits at the same time. Like there's only so much that a human can do. Like you only have so much willpower. Like you do not have an infinite amount of willpower. Nobody does. It, it makes it a lot easier to knock out one thing at a time. When you do build a new habit, like when you're building, like when you're working on something that you're fucking up on in your game, you don't just do it when you're approaching women. You do it all the time. You're doing this a hundred percent of the time. When you're like talking to a cashier, when you're at your work, like a lot of you guys are like, Oh no, I can't do that while I'm at work. Do it. Like do it while you're at work. This is your new personality. This is not just something you do like that. You just pull out of your ass when you're fucking like, you know, trying to, I don't know, talk to a girl. Like you want to make this a habit and make this a part of who you are. That's when it stops being a technique and starts becoming you. That's when you can start like actually freeing up your mind. And it's kind of being playful with game. You want it to become just a part of you. You want it to become like an extension of you. You don't want to just make it a tactic. Now, me, myself, I don't even think myself as like a pickup guy. I think of myself as a sexually threatening social creature. Like if you guys are thinking of yourself as a pickup artist, oh no, I'm now going to pickup mode. Stop it. You're always in pickup mode. All right. Now the next thing you want to add to your field reports is you want to start noticing your emotions, your emotions when you're going out. Now, when you're approaching and stuff like that, you're going to have like certain emotions going through your body and you're going to have things that affect you, stop you from like, maybe like, I don't know, feeling good. Maybe something makes you feel really good. And like, now you got to like think back on it. Like what made me feel really good? What was it specifically in that moment that made me feel good? Understanding yourself will help you kind of like teach yourself to get more in the zone and teach you to control your emotions even better. You also want to write out the entire nights. Now you, you might want to make this really simple at first. This is like, a, like, you know, pretty difficult. Like you want to, you could like kind of cut it up into like the more like key pieces. Cause you, what do you want? What you're doing here is you're reliving the night again. So you're relearning from it all over again. And you can kind of like start looking at your sticking points, what you did wrong. Maybe like you said something and it didn't work and the girl said something back to it. Now you can like sit down for a second and be like, okay, so she shit tested me here. I didn't have the right answer. So she left. What can I say the next time this happens and it won't happen again? It'll be like, I know every shit test this girl can possibly throw at me. I have every line in my back pocket. I don't even need to be in the zone to even like pass the shit test anymore. Now the next thing is you want to start focusing on her emotions. What's she feeling? What's she feeling in every moment of the interaction? Is she uncomfortable? Is she like feeling happy? I, I write notes all the fucking time about everything. I don't even write field reports about just pick up in general. Like as you see, I write notes about every aspect of my life because I'm trying to improve everything. Field reports are not just helpful in game. It's helpful in every aspect of life. Like no matter what the fuck it is, whatever you're trying to improve on, writing notes and writing things down is extremely helpful and kind of working through ideas and kind of figuring out like patterns. All right guys, with that being said, peace out. We don't know you from the hood. We don't know you from the app. So if niggas want to pass, then they got to pay the tax. Only deal with straight drop. Only deal with straight facts. So TS4 G's overseas, eight racks. Ready told me I'm too hot. Then I told me calm down with a rollie on the pot. Then I stretch another bounce. Can't be talking shit again. I got the city 